Guten Tag, my dear German friends. Today, reacting to the fourth episode of Building Houses in Germany. Today is going to be the Windows and Electrician. If you want to check out other videos related to this topic, you can find it in the comment section. Also, in the comment section, you can find a link where which you can press and uh, leave your suggestion for next reaction video, guys. Thank you in advance. Let's go to the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell for notification. Let's go. Okay, man. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that there's big orchestra sitting in the other side of the video and just playing, you know. Construction. The shell has now been completed. Oh, thank in God. The first part, earthworks and floor slabs were carried out. In part two, the masonry, and in part three, the roof. Now the first interior work continues. Let's go. Windows and the electrical installation. That's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting for sure. Oh my gosh, such a long intro, my man. Why? Building houses in Germany, ladies and gentlemen. Windows plus electrician. I love the music. It the creates the tension. Must first be prepared for window installation. <clears throat> first step: uh... put the window connection tape. Yes. The sealing tape ensures that the window frames are airtight with the masonry and that no water oh. penetrates from the outside to the inside. Oh, wow. A decompression sealing tape is placed on the outside of the window frame. The tape expands after assembly and closes the spaces between the window frame and the masonry. The window frame is aligned with spacers. Brother, the music is uh, much more interesting than the action, I, I bet. Everything has to be exactly in balance, otherwise malfunctions could occur. Windows close unintentionally. Jam For sure. Yes, 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 yes. Precise work, always precise work. Building a house is such a precise work. Distance to the edge of the wall must also be correct. After all, all windows should be in alignment and the window sills must also fit. Let's if go. everything is correct, the screw holes are made and the frame is screwed to the masonry. Mm -hmm. Now, hang in the casement. And screw on the handle. Man, the music is uh, like surprising me. Like as far as the video goes, the music is getting better. Once this is done, it continues on the outside. Another sealing tape. The water slots through which condensate runs out of the window are fitted with caps. Looks better, and the water drainage mm -hmm. works even on windy days. For sure. Meanwhile, inside, the fitter ensures that the windows are sealed. All gaps are filled with assembly foam and the sealing tapes are glued with permanently elastic adhesive. Mm -hmm. In this way, tightness is maintained even when there is moving in the masonry. Very tight, very tight windows. The windows have high thermal insulation and high sound insulation. Guaranteed by six chamber profiles and Oh, this is how it looks. I have never seen it be before. Wow. A roller shutter belongs to every window. Here is the electrical version. Does the blind run and close properly? The fitters can test this oh. with a mobile control device. Oh. Everything is great. Very great. Very great. Very good. Now only the window sills are missing. The construction company has a large selection of window sills. The builders chose window sills. Now I know this is a window sill, guys. Remember this word, please. Stone Jura marble. Outside, however, gray granite. To ensure that the water can run off, the window sill is not placed exactly horizontally on the outside, but slightly sloping at an angle of 5 degrees. 
The first window is finished. Only 14 more are missing. Only Another 14 more. On the right. Five on the front. Two on the left. And five on the back. Listen, they have a lot of rooms over there, a lot of windows in the house also. Well, at least it's gonna be bright house, man, but ah, I mean, the the the, um, the cost of the of it all is gonna be crazy, man. 400,000, you think? How do you think, guys? How much this house will cost? I give around 315,000. The installation is always the same and runs exactly like the first window. After two days, all windows are installed. This went quickly and also pleased the client. I am glad that it is already so far. We also love the windows. Also that we let them foil. In principle, they are white by default. But you have the option to choose a different color and mostly it is grayscale from light to dark or brown. It all depends of uh, what the what the color of the house will be and uh, adjust, uh, you know, you need to adjust the windows to the color of the house, in my opinion. There is also wood decor, so a lot is possible here. But of course taste is individual. We chose this color, set an accent and we like that very much. The front door is also inside, albeit with makeshift filling. But the house is now even lockable. Mmm, nice. You but there's still nothing there. You get used to the fact that it's our house. You get a key now. The little piece of reality that you hold in your hands. You already... I bet it's a such a nice feeling to move from flat to the house. ...feel comfortable in your home. So, home, I mean. But you feel like it's there. The goal is getting closer and closer. Nice feeling, man, for sure. Next phase, the electrical installation. The builders can contribute their individual wishes to the electrical installation. Therefore, there is a detailed discussion with the master electrician before the installation. Where exactly should which connections go? For living and dining, two lamps where you want to have placed them. Living would be here and eating in the kitchen. The dining. Notice that woman is doing that, not man, because woman is responsible for the coziness of the house most of the time, in my opinion. You know, because men really they don't care. They can live like in one room, uh, one one chair, and nothing more, and just sleep on the floor or whatever. They just don't care. Men are savages. Dining table would be there, so a lamp would be omitted here. So only one lamp above, in the middle. In the middle of the room. Yes. There's yes. A lot to consider and clarify when it comes to electrical planning. How many sockets do you need per room and where exactly should they be placed? Should the light Man. be switched from different places? And much more. <laughs> should there be a switch here? I would say I need sockets everywhere. Five sockets minimum in every room. Just in case. If you go out to the terrace, you can turn off the light. Or when you come in at night, to turn them on again. Yes. The electrician notes everything in the floor plan and also marks the approximate position for switches and sockets on the walls. On to the next room. Until everyone is through, the whole meeting lasted more than three hours. Important, as a builder, you should think carefully about what you want. Yeah, 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 because afterwards it will, will be very hard to remake it, redo it. I can really recommend everyone who is planning to build a house, sit down beforehand, make drawings room by room, pack your ideas in and then start talking. Then you are best prepared and you can always go into detail. The planning is now being implemented. It starts in the bedroom upstairs. First, draw the position of the flush mounted boxes and cable slots. Oh, it, draw it, my friend. Do it. According do it. Just do it. Planning, here it. Hurry, go to the chopper. In the bedroom, <clears> right right next to the door, there is a thermostat switch for controlling the heating. A oh, that's switch, such a, a game changer, switch. man. Thermostat, man. Thermostat is like, wow. Oh, wow. I mean, that I don't have any other words to describe it. In a socket. 
Blind switch, roll out a blind so switch. There must be four recesses in the wall. Raw electrical installation means flush mounted boxes and cables. The rest, switches and socket inserts come after the plasma. That's gonna be interesting to watch how they do it, really. The electrician is now laying the cable duct with the wall milling machine. Two saw blades <laughs> attached parallel to each other cut slots approximately two centimeters deep into the masonry. The rest in between, just hammer out. At the top, get a hole for the ceiling lamp cable and the cable duct is ready. The electrician can now set the flush mount. Oh my boxes. gosh. First of all, Looks only good. as a test whether they also fit. They fit and there's a lot more space left. He needs plaster to fix it. Mm. The switches. So Looks like a flower. Sockets <laughs> and thermostat inserts are Just standardized kidding. and all fit in the same flush mounted boxes. Very convenient. At the end, check the alignment. Otherwise, the switches will hang crooked later. Everything is great. The mm -hmm. boxes are in place. The plaster must harden for about an hour. Now it's time to pull the cable. The electrician starts the line for the skylight. Do it! The ceiling lamp mm -hmm, is switched mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm. classic way with a switch next to the door. So the cable must be in the flush mounted box for the light switch. Man. The standard cable for I bet this dude is doing this for whole life. He knows what he's doing, that's for sure. Domestic installation is the so-called NIM J3 by 1.5 cable A3 core cable with a cable cross section of 1.5 square millimeters each. Typical for lamps, sockets, etc. However, stronger consumers such as washing machines or electric cookers need thicker cables. The next cable connects the light switch and socket. And the cable for the socket runs out of the room towards the distribution box. The electricity comes into the room via this cable, showing mm -hmm. the complete electrical wiring would go far beyond the scope here. Basically, the house installation works as follows and is the same for every room. The distribution box is the heart of the electrical installation. Yeah. Here the electricity is provided for the entire house. The electricity comes from the distribution box into just don't, the room via a supply line. Just don't put your fingers in, inside this box because you can die. Fine. Die. The first you can die. consumer, here the socket, the electricity is passed on to the next consumer, the ceiling light. Here, however, the light switch is still in between. The sockets are also connected cable by cable, until all consumers are connected to the circuit. One circuit per room, means one line per room from the distribution box. Special cases are strong consumers such as a washing machine get their own circuit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Back to the raw yeah. installation. The electrician works his way to the next wall. The cables are simply laid on the floor and later disappear in the screen. Here the next Ooh. socket, or Ooh. here double socket, to socket. Well, it, I mean, it doesn't look very hard to be like his job over here on this object. So maybe I have to become an electrician. Uh, I'm just kidding. I want to become a YouTube uh, full-time YouTuber, <laughs> rather. Because I love doing videos, guys. With you, for you, everything for you, my friends. Continues at the door. Thermostat switch wiring. The thermostat switch regulates the valve position in the heating circuit distributor for the respective room. A five core cable is required for the incoming and outgoing signals. The NIM J5X 1.5 is used. Again, a 1.5 square millimeters cable cross. Just in case, repeat it please again because I didn't understand. Was it 1.5? Really? 1.5? 1.5? per wire. The cable also runs out of the room towards the hallway where the heating circuit distributor will be later. 
The cable is labeled so that the fitter can see through it later. RT, room thermostat, sleeping room. Ah, oh, this is how he marks it. Okay, this the is interesting. The switch wiring is still missing. Special feature here, the building owners have also opted for a central control system for all roller blinds per floor. The switch for this is in the hallway, therefore a cable comes towards the hallway, a second then goes to the roller shutter. With such an installation, each window has its own blind switch in the room as usual. In addition, there is the central switch that sends an up or down command to all blind switches at the same time. Fix the cables with clips and then the part is finished. Well, this looks good, looks good, what can I say? Room. Looks fantastic, Always. phenomenal. Children's room. Now he have to do Bad the box. Room. A lid was placed on the flush mounted boxes that no plaster runs in. Ah, everything is very secure, my friend. It is interesting because it's German. That there are multimedia yeah. sockets in all living rooms. Antenna signals, radio and television, as well as internet and telephone can be transmitted via the green double cable. All cables are also laid on the ground floor, living room, guest toilet, and kitchen with many extra circuits for oven, dishwasher, electric stove and other. In total, mm -hmm. more than one kilometer of cables what? were laid one kilometer in the house, and almost Are you kidding me, man? Were installed. Are you kidding me? Construction time, raw electrical installation, one week. So, uh, not too bad. For one week, he made all the electric installation. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I mean, the guy was... He knew what he was doing. I mean, uh, the, the planning went for three hours, which is a lot. Everything needs to be precise. If you mess up, uh, it's very hard to uh, redo it, I bet. So, it's rather better to, like, spend more time to plan it, you know, than, than to uh, make it again. So, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, please let me know in comment section next video that you want me to react on. I really uh, I'm curious what you want me to react on. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day. Good. Auf Wiedersehen. And see you next reaction videos. Bye.